High gas prices are putting a strain on drivers across the country tonight, and President Joe Biden has announced several actions, all aimed at changing that. Hannah Brandt is in Washington, D.C. to explain if those measures are working. Gas prices are painfully high, but President Biden says he's taken steps to bring them down. Americans should already be seeing the savings, although it's only gone down about 18 cents. The savings are starting. Andrew Gross with AAA confirms prices are trending down. Gas prices reached their peak on March 11th when they hit 433. And since that time, they've slowly been working their way down. One of the things that helped was the president's release of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves. Just the news of that announcement, not the actual physical release from the reserve, that would, that helped drive prices down. And Jeff Cooper with the Renewable Fuels Association says the decision to let gas stations sell a higher ethanol blend this summer is also making a difference. Those drivers that are uh, choosing higher blends of ethanol like E15 are absolutely seeing savings. But ultimately, experts say the president only has a limited impact on prices. There are very few weapons in the president's arsenal they can use, and he's pretty much trying everything. Costs are really set by the global market. There really are limits on, you know, how much policymakers can do to really drive down the price at the pump. With conflict in Ukraine and resurging COVID across the world, gas prices may continue to fluctuate with international instability. You have this upward pressure from the war, a downward pressure from COVID, and all of us are stuck in between. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.